Hello, and welcome back to 3 Martini Launch Plays Kerbal Space Program. My name is 3 Martini Launch, and I will be playing Kerbal Space Program. If you recall, when we last met, I was playing Skyrender's Challenge from the KSP Forums, uh, the Career Mode Science Challenge, to see who could get uh, max out the uh, science crew with the least amount of missions. Um, I thought I was going to do in two. That's uh, that's clearly not going to be possible. It'll be uh, it'll be one. If you recall, my last mission, I did 411 science with a Minmus landing and a lunar flyby. Um, 411, I thought seemed pretty cool, but there's uh, folks getting close to 2,500 on their first uh, mission. Uh, you know, going to Jewel and Duda and all over the solar system. In any event, uh, here's where uh, here's where I left off last time. I'd uh, purchased uh, these particular techs and have 38 science remaining. So let's, uh, let's get going. Eventually. Come on. And I'm uh, gonna head to the VAB, and uh, I think the rules of the challenge say I'm supposed to show a screenshot of the ship in the VAB. I didn't do that last time, but, you know, I, I'm not gonna tell anybody if you don't. And here's the ship I'll be launching. The uh, drill mission Mark II. I had a Mark One, and it uh, it was a it was a pro, but it wasn't quite as capable as uh, this one. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to pull it around about 4,000 science with this. And so that's what I hope. Let's get some crew. This is likely. <laughs> there's a good chance. I don't want to say likely, but there's a very good chance this is going to be a one-way trip. So we're going to take good old Dovey, Dovey Kerman. My action group uh, set up just to make sure. Science, science, science. Yeah, okay. Well, make sure W is still sitting in the cockpit, and he is, so we'll just go ahead and, uh... Anyways, I'm, uh, gonna switch to, uh, post-commentary, so I'll, uh, I'll see you in the launch pad. And on the launch pad, we are. Now, a, uh, mission to Jewel is a pretty, uh, pretty involved thing. It takes a lot of time. There were, uh, several hours involved. I had to edit the video down quite a bit, so I hope it's not, uh, too disjointed. I edited out most of the sciencey stuff and a lot of the long uh, transfers and whatnot. But anyways, the orbit went pretty normal. I ended up uh, circularizing. Uh, here's one I'll take a break and show you. Kind of made my own little asparagus staging system on the uh, transfer vehicle. When the uh, center fuel tank runs out of fuel, it has exactly enough uh, room to hold two of the fuel tanks from the outside, and then it just jettisoned them from the with the uh, decouplers. And it worked out pretty well. It was able to take a lot of fuel without making a super tall rocket. And, you know, the super tall rockets get uh, kind of wobbly. Anyways, got myself to Jewel with an injection. What's that, day 311? I forgot what the launch day was, 167 or something. Aero braking went down, went very smoothly. And I got my uh, periapsis, I'm sorry, my apoapsis side uh, down to just inside of Tylo's... Oh, actually, you'll see. I remember what happened. It's actually quite uh, quite fortuitous. You can see the the orbit's coming down, down, down. It's just inside of uh, Bob, coming inside a pole. And uh, let's see uh, what happens. Oh, how, uh, how handy. I think that's Val is the third one. I got a, a Val encounter right off of the... Uh, right off of the pad. I don't think I had to raise my... Uh, periapsis. And it's a, it's a long flyby. I don't get the close space stuff, but eh, I'm not complaining. It's basically free. Uh, it cost me eh, a little bit of fuel. Now when I leave Val, I get a lathe encounter, but you can see that's going to that's gonna crash me into the planet, so I'm trying to figure out a way to not crash into Jewel and uh, winds up you know tugging this and tugging that and uh, 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 that, that's not too bad 247 meters per second Delta V uh, but it winds up crashing me into a uh, lathe instead so I've got to spend a crap ton of fuel to take care of that and then I can't you know pull, pull the that maneuver no tuggies in the right way it's, uh, it's it won't let me won't let me do it. Just won't let me do it. And I had to pause. I think work was calling, so I cut out the uh, <laughs> the amount of time at the pause. And I wound up uh, using maneuver note to type in the uh, values of stuff. And uh, again, 886 meters per second of delta V is that? Do I really want to spend that? I mean, 
I was hoping to have enough to land on pole or pop and then fly on back home, but yeah, it looks like I wind up uh, wind up spending it. It uh, burned up all the rest of my fuel in the external tanks, the uh, transfer, and I'm down just to the uh, landing engines. I thought I was going to land on uh, on lathe, but I decided, ah, screw it. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and continue the mission. So I get the lathe flyby, and I'm trying to set up a a, a Tylo flyby encounter here. And there's one. This what 500 <laughs> meters per second delta V. I'm being pretty very wasteful on the. Uh, on the, oh no, I wound up not taking that one. I forgot what I got it set up for. Uh, you see, I tried to set up a pole encounter there for a while. Anyways, this gets me another lathe flyby, which uh, I think I extracted all the science from lathe the, uh, the first time around. But it turns uh, into a oh, Tylo flyby, which uh, again, I don't think I get especially close. But, uh, you know, again, it's a uh, Third planet I'm hitting uh, and draining uh, draining science out of, uh, science out of the uh, out of the high space, you know the high orbit, and I'm able to wind up and set up a uh, a uh, pole encounter from there for uh, relatively cheap. You can see uh, under 200 uh, delta V and it keeps on coming down. I think I ultimately got it for like 130, 140. I'm not really, I don't really remember for sure. And go ahead and make sure I cross that uh, sphere of influence threshold at one uh, one time speed. And then I go ahead and uh, holy moly, it's almost 700 delta V to uh, establish an orbit. Uh, so I go ahead and spend it, and I forgot to hit the record when I'm doing the landing. But I do land on Bob or uh, Pole rather. And it's nice, and uh, boy, the uh, surface uh, science available here was incredible. I was able to. Uh, pull off a lot of good science and get a lot of good points. I'm going to go ahead and plant a flag. And what did I say? I forget what I said. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Oh, very exciting. Mission in that pole. Woohoo. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, very, very original. Very original. Back into the back into the spaceship. Finish up all the science and then take off. And again, uh, pretty easy taking off off of uh, off a pole. Very low gravity. And uh, just for kicks, I uh, managed to set up a, uh, a bop encounter. And here I am coming in, da 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 da. So I will have hit all the planets at high orbit, pole at uh, also in low orbit, and uh, and landed. And come on. And there we go. I rather a lot of inclination on that orbit. But you can see I'm almost out of fuel. <coughs> I wound up exhausting the science out of there. Oop, yeah, there you go. And then uh, circularizing the orbit. And I bring it down, and I ran a couple of landing simulations, and I just didn't quite have enough fuel to land. Um, I'll leave it here with the... Uh, oop, oop, careful, careful. With the lower orbit of periapsis, if I think... Yeah, well, it looks like 27,000. I actually think I got it a little bit, uh, a little bit lower than that. Um, I may go back and try to land. I think I might be able to pull that off um, if I land at a high mountain or something on uh, on Bob. In any event, you can see the <laughs> 7,613 science. Uh, starting with uh, 38 science, I'm uh, well past uh, 7,500. So anyways, that's it uh, for uh, this time. I want to thank uh, each and every one of you for tuning in, and uh, you too, Mrs. Miller. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's probably going to be one more episode. Uh, this amount of... Uh, of uh, science fills up all but uh, three or four of the uh, items on the tech tree, so I'll still need a few thousand points. So look forward to one more video. Thanks again.